What does it take to solve problems, help others, and improve the world around you? Curiosity, creativity, persistence. What it takes are the skills of an engineer. Hi, my name is John. Uh, I'm a Boeing engineer. I work on airplanes, specifically the wings. John is a structural engineer who works on designing new and different types of wings. I'm trying to use new materials and new ideas of how to shape those materials in such a way that the wings we build are lighter than they were before. When a wing is made, there are thousands of different pieces designed by many people, and it is John's job to make sure that all of those parts are able to work together. This is what John did as the wing technical integrator for the Phantom Eye project. The Phantom Eye is an airplane that doesn't carry any people. It just carries cameras and other equipment up to very high altitudes. And by that I mean it flies up to 65,000 feet, which is far higher than, than most airplanes. Uh, you know, it's over 12 miles. And uh, it can stay up there for four days at a time. Wow, an unpiloted aircraft can fly that high for four days? How does it do that? The reason that the Phantom Eye can fly so much higher and stay up so much longer than, than other airplanes is in, in large part because of that wing that is the basis for this design challenge. And these wings are really long. So long that the wingspan is about four school buses parked end to end. If we look at birds' wings, we see birds that maneuver around trees or fly low to the ground have short, thicker wings like sparrows. But birds that fly really high and soar generally have long, thin wings like albatrosses or gulls. The same is true with aircraft. Longer, thinner wings help aircraft fly higher and farther because they are able to produce more lift. But the reason why the Phantom Eye can fly higher and stay up longer than most airplanes isn't only due to its long spanning wings. And you know, the other reason we can stay up so long is that we're using the hydrogen fuel, which has a lot higher energy density to it than gasoline does. And that allows us to stay up you know, three times longer than we would burning gasoline fuel. We can think about it like this. One cup of hydrogen fuel has a lot more energy than one cup of gasoline. So we can use less hydrogen fuel than we would with gasoline fuel, but still have the same results. But that's not the only good thing about using hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen is a clean fuel. When hydrogen burns, it combines with oxygen to create water, so there's no pollution at all. The Phantom Eye is not only unique in its flight, but is also better for the environment. And there's even one more thing that makes the Phantom Eye really exciting. Because the Phantom Eye can fly so high, it can basically replace a satellite. You know, say a satellite goes on the blink or there's just a disaster area where there is no satellite coverage. The Phantom Eye can go up there and provide aerial surveillance for the rescue teams or, or uh, um, of something that can provide the you know satellite coverage for telephones and things like that, just like a satellite would, would at a fraction of the cost. The Phantom Eye is a really helpful aircraft that has the ability to help a lot of people with new technologies. Since this project is different from most aircraft projects, John had to persevere and not give up if he experienced any problems along the way. And what I usually do when I run into a situ situation where there's a failure is I'll step back, take a deep breath, and then I'll get other people involved. Are you ready to be creative and build your own project inspired by the Phantom Eye? Check out the activity on the Curiosity Machine.